Figma is a line of action figures made by Max Factory in collaboration with Masaki Apsi. It is distributed worldwide by Good Smile Company. I'm unboxing and reviewing Ichi, one of the characters created by the artist Neko in a series of illustrations called Heavily Armed High School Girls. There is no official manga or story published behind it, but Ichi is supposed to be the first of a few fighters for a so-called resistance. The figure has a tech wear cyberpunk vibe with samurai swords. The box contains the usual Figma accessories, including a clear stand, a set of interchangeable hands, and a Ziploc bag for all the accessories. There's an art card inside with some information about the character. There's also a small piece of paper with a guide on how to attach the other parts. Along with the main figure, you also get an extra faceplate and three swords known as the Harmonic Swords. It consists of an Adachi, which is a very long sword, an Uchigatana or Katana, and a Wakizashi. She also has two short blades or Tanto. The design is a mix of traditional samurai and cyberpunk with black modern looking scabbards. Starting off with the feet and legs, her high heels has a mecha design, mostly black with white stripes and a dash of pink and lime green. At the back of her mecha heels are the tantos or short swords. On her left thigh hangs a grey holster of some sort. She has long slender legs and thighs, but the sculptor did a great job in keeping subtle curves. I initially felt that her torso is a bit long and out of proportion, but overall it looks fine. The collar on her uniform hides the shoulder joints. She has grey straps on the chest part which adds a tech wear or cyberpunk feel and its function is to hold the string that holds her swords. Her hair is long with a warm grey color with a black and white head accessory. On both hands are samurai handguards with a modern look and has the same color scheme as her heels. The head can turn 360 degrees. It can go side to side and can bend down, but not much up. The hair has joints you can turn and swivel, and some parts are softer. The arms can move sideways and can rotate 360 degrees on the shoulder joint. The range of motion is good but can be limited by the collar. The arms bend more than 90 degrees but not enough to do certain poses. The hands rotate 360 degrees and has a swivel function too. You can rotate her chest and go side to side. There are two points of articulation when bending forward and backward. 
there's a ball joint for the hips underneath the skirt so you can have a side to side motion backward and forward and you also get a slight rotation the knees can bend this much but there's not enough articulation going on with her feet there's a ball joint there but it can only do a slight swivel side to side backward and forward and a slight rotation Ichi has two face options. One calm yet resolute face and the other is a sort of angry fighting face with mouth open. She doesn't feel angry enough for me though and the lack of other face options is a bit of a downside. The set of hands include a pair of closed fists, open hands, a pair for holding the swords, slightly opened hands, and another pair for holding the scabbard. The Japanese style swords are detailed enough to differentiate its parts. All swords have butt caps, a handle with a braided pattern, and black spacers. You can also see the handguard in gold and the blade in silver. The good thing about the swords is that you can put it inside the scabbards. The scabbard has a more cyberpunk feel to it and has an end cap too. The wakizashi and katana scabbards are attached to each other and connected to a red string that hangs on Ichi's back. Max Factory and Masaki Apsi delivered an action figure with good balance between detail and articulation. The figure's sculpt was done well. However, it would not be as detailed as 1-7 or 1-8 scale statues that cost a lot more. There are obvious mold lines and paint imperfections, but the good thing is you can pose and play with this figure. It has enough detail and pop to catch your eyes. Posing with her arsenal of swords and accessories can be enjoyable. I wasn't really keen on the concept of high school girls as it felt immature and too common nowadays. A school uniform is probably the least outfit I'd think of for going into battle, so the sense of this outfit is sort of lost to me. Fortunately, the swords make Ichi a badass character and the cyberpunk samurai feel can grow on you. I'd probably put everything on display with the swords out to showcase how cool they look. Either with two swords out, or holding the nodachi with one hand and scabbard on the other. I would spread the hair out to make it seem like she's moving and position the legs in a way that would showcase the leg design and make the pose a bit dynamic. Would I collect other Figma from this line? Probably not. Although, I like the design of Figma Ronin, which was also created by Neko. Overall, this is a good action figure with enough details, great sculpt, and cool accessories. Although I feel it's not for me. But if you like the cyberpunk samurai warrior aesthetic and like the idea of high school girls fighting in a futuristic landscape, then you would definitely love this figure. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe. My name is Al and I'll see you on the next one.